Hi there, Peter with you here again today and today we're going to talk about meditation and what is meditation because there is a lot of uh, misunderstanding around what is meditation what is not meditation in the world today and I think to get a very very clear understanding of meditation is very very helpful in your meditation practice. So let's look at the different types in general of meditation and the way I want to look at it is to put the different meditations on a, a type of a, a spectrum um, sort of at the, the one end you've got probably the, the purest meditation which is where you meditate on one single object so whether that's your breath or a candle flame or in my case I meditated for a long time on a blue flower that was the object of my meditation and we have to use uh, all our own willpower and our own awareness and our own concentration to stay on that one object of meditation and keep bringing the mind back to that anchor to that one object of meditation it takes a lot of effort uh, needs a lot of mindfulness it's very good at empowering our mindfulness now on the other end of the spectrum is more like hypnosis where someone is actually guiding you in the meditation. In fact, in pure hypnosis, we totally give up control to the hypnotist and we get rid of what is sort of the, the critical faculty and we let the conscious mind be absorbed in what the hypnotism, hypnotist is saying or it might be a CD recording so that they can then implant suggestions right into our unconscious mind empowering suggestions and of course uh, I do a little bit of that as a hypnotist now in between there are some other types of meditation I'm sure that some of you have done guided meditations perhaps where you're taken on a journey along a beach or through a beautiful forest and again you relax and you get swept away by the words of the person giving the guided meditation or the, the CD or whatever this is very very similar to hypnosis except the suggestions you're getting are suggestions of relaxing and being at one with the beauty so this is very very close to sort of that hypnotic type of um, induction or meditation now there are other meditations which I do a lot of which are in between so you take a subject let's say for example we take impermanence and the uh, guide will say consider how everything in your life is impermanent and contemplate this for the next few minutes and then they'll remain silent while you internally contemplate that idea and then every now and again give some suggestions to keep you on the right track and to remind you to come back to the object so this is somewhere in between now the differences are in the lower ones it often has a story so your mind is moving your mind is moving all the time uh, also they are tend to be a lot easier because you've got a guide that is facilitating and you keeping you uh, away from distraction and on the topic at hand now the, the pure meditation or the, the less uh, facilitation you have the more difficult it is but also uh, like for example when you're practicing sport if you practice against someone that's very much better than you you're going to develop your skills better you will develop a stronger mindfulness uh, concentration if you just do more pure meditation and meditate just on the one object at a time so these different types of meditation are all good and they all have different purposes and I use you know all types of meditation because I'm a believer in whatever works for you that's what we should do uh, but it's also good to know what type of meditation you're doing and maybe mix it up a bit so you try some like purist meditation just on one object and some guided meditation that sort of thing I hope that explanation has been helpful for you in understanding a little bit more about meditation